Hey everybody, it's me Tayo, and I'm here with my friend Matilda and her child, uh, Hilda. Anyway, it's time to react to another chapter of One Piece. This week we've got chapter 1038, and I actually got spoiled a little bit that this has something to do with Big Mom, so I decided that Matilda and I would be dressed up in Law and Big Mom attire because of the obvious battle that's coming. So uh, stay tuned for the end of the video to see where we got these fetching outfits from, and you can download them yourself. So, Mathilda, why don't you tell the folks a little bit about yourself? She loves One Piece. Uh, isn't she just a baby, though? Isn't One Piece a little violent for a little little girl like that? <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? Let's just get into the chapter. Oh boy, I've been waiting all week to read this. I can't wait. Okay, so we're getting started. Oh boy, looky, 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 looky. It's uh, it's it's a story. It's a little uh, chapter page story going on. Oh, what's this? Kid versus. Okay, so the name of the chapter is 1038. Kid uh, versus Law versus. No, Kid and Law versus Big Mom. I don't know why Kid and Law will be fighting. <laughs> My bad, my bad. Made a little oopsie there, a little mistake there. Okay, so, uh, yeah. 1038, Kid and Law versus Big Mom. So let's get into this little chapter story here. So we got people looking at a giant book that says Niji, Yanji, um, okay, so these are, okay, this is taking place inside of, uh, Whole Cake Island, so I guess the Big Mom Pirates are doing a little research on the Germa so that they can properly prevent them from escaping. So that's kind of funny that they're reading from a giant book, but uh, let's see what uh, the, what else it says on this page. Um, Germa 66, ah, an emotionless excursion, volume 3, Niji and Yanji are held captive in Chocolate Town on Cacao Island. Oh, okay. So that's actually not a book of them. That is them. They are basically being held prisoner in a book. We saw that Big Mom can do this with like various animals and stuff. And so she's done that to two of the Germa. So they're captured inside a book. Oh man, that is, I did not see that coming. That is pretty crazy, pretty intense stuff. Uh, well, I guess so. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's, I guess this is gonna be about them getting rescued from the book, maybe, or, uh, we'll see where this goes. I definitely can't wait to see what happens in this little chapter page, uh, story. Okay, so, uh, da da da, hell captive. Alright, moving on, now we go into the actual chapter. Law and Kid versus Big Mom. Oh, this is gonna get intense. Okay, holy crap. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, perfect time, Rizo. Okay, uh, I need to make a stunning announcement. Then I have to say that I am sorry. I've been treating Rizo like garbage this whole time, and I think the problem was it had been such a long time since Rizo's introduction and stuff that I had completely forgotten a lot about his character and he honestly has one of the funniest moments in the entire One Piece series way back on Zo when all the boys you know Frankie, Luffy, even Law and Zoro were like they saw him and he has this big head they're like oh who is this guy who's this clown he's no ninja and he does all this these crazy techniques he's like I'm not going to show you my techniques and then they all get super depressed and he's like Oh, all right, I'll show you my amazing techniques. And it's so funny, because even the super serious Law gets into it and is like, do you, do you have shadow clones? Shadow clones? I want to see the shadow clones. So yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh, really funny. One of my favorite moments in One Piece. Um, funny moments. So yeah, I'm going to stop, you know, attacking Rizo so often. Sorry about that, Rizo. 
I apologize. I, I, I said I apologize. This dang app gets in my way sometimes. But yeah, uh, so from now on I will t give Rizo a pass. I will get upset every time I see him. Speaking of Rizo, this is wh where the chapter begins. Third floor, the flames under the Jutsu Rizo. Or we will both die. Ugh. Ugh. Second floor. Get out of the castle. It's the uh, dead end. We can't escape. Uh, looks like Rizo and the guy whose name I don't care about and we'll just proceed to call him Earlobe Head uh, <laughs> are uh, in great danger. So let's... Okay, moving on chapter... Uh, page 2. The ceiling's going to give away! Ah! Huh? Oh, hey, it's Jimbei! And my app went crazy. Okay, it's Jimbei! Whoa, Jimbei's here! Woo, let's go, Jimbei! Hold that ceiling up, bro! You, you're from the Straw Hat crew! You're all still in here! Get out while you can! Good job, Jimbei! Ugh, ugh! How have the flames spread so far? It's one thing to die in battle, but these flames are going to kill scores of men all on their own! Okay, performance floor. Stay away from Big Mom. Get don't get anywhere near that fight. What is it, Doctor Chopper? Oh, what's this? What the? Eek! Oh, look at that. It looks like Chopper's returned to his normal size. Oh, well, that's a relief. Good job, Chopper. Um, boo, boo, boo. poof. Oh, what's this? What the? Eek! Oh, good. Your monster, monster risks have passed. Ugh. I'm back! I guess turning teeny and weak is the, is a side effect then. But enough about me. Miyagi, I'm worried about Zolo. Zolo? I guess this is because I'm reading the Viz translation, but I forgot that they called him Zolo in this one. Whatever. I'm just going to call him Zoro because I'm, I'm too used to it at this point. So yeah, Zoro. Yeah, the medicine we gave him. In exchange for a temporary burst of extreme healing, he'll have to suffer twice the danger later, right? I hope he was able to win his fight. I mean, he was so injured, he couldn't move, and now it's doubled! He's not gonna die, is he? Ugh. Ugh. Who the hell are- <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my gosh, no, no. What the fuck? There's a Grim Reaper standing over Zoro, and he's about to kill him. This is, oh my gosh, this is super duper duper scary. What the heck? Uh, I, why is there a Grim Reaper? Grim Reaper! There's a Grim Reaper in, in, in One Piece? What madness is this? Maybe, maybe it's just Brooke. Maybe, no, no, no. Brooke's not even anywhere near this. That is the real Grim Reaper, I think. Holy crap. Okay, so let's see what in the world is going on here. He's not going to die, is he? Okay, who the hell are you? What's going on? My body won't move. No, stop! Don't do it! Oh no! Zoro's in big trouble! The Grim Reaper has showed up! I usually work for Dracula, but I've decided to come over to One Piece just for a little bit. For all you Castlevania fans out there. Right brain tower, under the dome. Move it! Ah! Stupid Zoro! How far did he go? Looks like Zoro's trying to track down... I mean, Frankie's trying to track down Zoro. Crawl space, first floor. Okay, we're jumping around a bit. Jumping, jumping, jumping all over the place. But uh, that's not exactly a bad thing. We get to see what's happening to everyone. Uh, damn it. What was Whitebeard's division leader? Why, why is he helping out these young guns? Youngin. First basement floor. Ugh. Izo! Ugh. Ugh. I was too sloppy against a large group. Remember, Izo, these are still the Animal P Kingdom Pirates. Ugh, Kiku, Kinemon, I hope you've managed to escape. Oh, no! No, 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 no. This is bad. This is super bad. Oh, gosh, it's them. It's the CP0, and they're they're right next to Izo. Cypherpole. That's right. We are Aegis. Aegis Zero. I knew you were here, but we never saw each other today, Izo. Given my job, I shouldn't be allow allowing the remnants of Whitebeard's crew to run free after their historic cr crimes. But we're only here to deal with the Straw Hat Pirates. Until we meet again another day. No, CP0. Don't go yet. Is he- oh my gosh, is he gonna challenge them to a fight? What is- what is going- oh, and we just cut away from it. 
Oh, but now we're on, now we're on Yamato. Oh my gosh, this is intense. This chapter has everything. I was just expecting like a, a law kid versus Big Mom because that's the name of the chapter, but we're going all over the place. What has happened? Oda, how many, how many pages do we even have left to work with for this concept? Uh, but yeah, now we're doing Yamato. Armory Castle Basement. Please be in time. Please be in time. Oh my gosh, that thing that... The Conjuro made. It's almost at the armory. It's right on top of it. It's getting too close. This is intense. This is my phone just went down. But the, don't do that phone. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. So armory. Uh, please be in time. There it is. Ah uh, no. Don't. Please stop. Nam Namuji Glacier Fang. Oh. Yamato froze the bombs. If this much gunpowder explodes at once. We're all done for! Okay, so she froze the, the the bombs with her ice breath, which, honestly, I didn't know she had. So that's a little surprising. Next page. Okay. Don't touch those explosives! Ma Maho Roba! Lord Orochi! Ah! Wait, did that thing talk? I think the, the fiery creature that, that Kondro made talked. So, wow. The... the Whoa, okay. I didn't know it could do that. Performance floor. And now we're moving along again. Are we gonna get... Are we finally gonna get to... Okay, we are finally getting to Law... And we're like halfway through the chapter when we're finally getting the Law and Kid versus Big Mom. Stop it, Big Mom! Our captains can't move anymore! If you keep going, they're going to die! Cut them a break! <laughs> ha! Listen to your men pitying you! Captain! D must make you feel pretty pathetic, boys. Ma 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 ma. <laughs> Your kid is disturbing me, Mathilda. Uh, anyway, uh, Law and Kid are down on the ground. Haha, <laughs> listen to your man pitying you. Okay. Must make you feel pretty pathetic, boys. This is really bad. They're in a pretty desperate situation here. Whoa, kid! Boss! Hang in there! Boss, are you still breathing? Medical team, save the captain! Silence, you runts! This is a battlefield! God of lightning! Tenjin! Ah, she's shooting lightning all over the place. I've yet to hear a roar of victory from Kaido up above. You better not still be up there. Playing patty cake with that straw hat boy, Kaido. Patty cake. Oh my gosh, now I really want someone to draw that. Could, could, could we draw Kaido? Oh my gosh. Oh, should I be the one to draw it? It might take a little bit, but that would be a fun... I just want an image of Luffy and... Kaido playing patty cake. It's like, and, 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 and maybe, 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 um, and maybe, uh, Luffy is kind of in his, he's using his elephant gun to make his hands big so that they can match Kaido's giant hands. And they're both like, patty cake, patty cake, big girth man. <laughs> bake me a cake. Hey, wait a second. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Oh, wow. That, that song really goes along well with, uh, Big Mom. That's, that's pretty funny. Patty cake. Hera, take me up to the roof. Yes, mama. Even I'm getting tired now. It's time to put an end to this. Kroom. Ugh. Ugh. Anesthesia. We're done here. Oh my gosh. What's going to happen? Well, I was trying to some attack on Big Mom. And next, what the heck? Law's sword. It got bigger. And it went right through Big Mom's neck. Uh, Big Mom's dead. Mama. What the? Traffy! That's... What's with that huge sword? Ugh. Ugh. I know the last one had an effect. The penetration doesn't hurt. The real pain is from... No! Not that! Shock Wheel! Shock Wheel? Is it Shock Wheel or Shock Wheel? Or, or Shock... You know what? I don't know. But anyway, it's cool! And Big Mom looks like she's in pain. Blah! Vengeance for Mama! Oh no! Her, the, the inanimate objects that Big Mom brought to life are attacking. Wait, the things that are attacking, they're made of metal. You know what this means? It's time for Law to do his thing. Vengeance for Mama. Huh? What's this? I'm being pulled backwards. Would you 
Would you eye beam stop yammering and obey my magnetism? You're still standing, kid. Uh, uh, I guess you brats really want to take me uh, to take my head, don't you? Ha ha ha! For some reason, I feel like I'm, I'm driven by a different goal now. I'm guessing Kaido's nearly done up there, too. Even water droplets can carve stone, given enough time. There ain't a single thing in this world that's totally impervious to damage! Punk Pornadio! I'm trying to make out what's even happening there. It's like a giant thing of metal is just colliding with Big Mom and hitting her hard. What a huge bull! Oh, he made... A, oh, that is so cool. He made a me mechanical bull out of metal and it's charging. It's ramming right into Big Mom. Damn. Okay, this fight is pretty, pretty epic. I am, I am loving it. I am really enjoying this fight. Um, but that's the end of the chapter pretty much. Just a few more things to read. Uh, what? A huge bull? It's even bigger than Big Mom's giant form. Listen to me, old hag. I'd rather die than let you go to the roof. Oh, that is... That is hype right there. They're like, We'd rather die than lose to you, you bitch! Oh, uh, sorry ma'am. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. I'm really sorry. Right, uh, anyway, now where was I again? Oh, that's right. We gotta go over the chapter. This is a weird episode today. Anyway, you know the drill, guys. I gotta look through the chapter and see, give you my thoughts. So, I think I can really sum up this chapter by just saying that half of it was giving us a re update around about most of the characters and what they're up to, and there was a lot of updates, like much, much more updates than I really expected in this chapter. We got to see more of Rizo and Earlobe Heads battle, we got Jinbei holding up a roof for some people as the fire was causing the whole place to collapse. Chopper's been returned to his normal form, so that's that's good. We got Zoro having an encounter with the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper, this is that is something that's pretty intense. Like, wow, the Grim Reaper himself. Ugh. Never seen him in One Piece before. Guess this is the closest that any character on the Straw Hats has come to death. Though I do wonder if Zoro might have seen him that one time he absorbed all of Luffy's damage from Kuma's uh, paw, but who knows? And we got so so Frankie's running off trying to find Zoro. Chopper's worried about Zoro. Great Reaper's after Zoro. Izo is has been fighting a whole bunch of the Beast Pirates. He's he's got a wound on his stomach and he's all scratched up and he is he is not looking that good. And then on top of that, we get. The CP, the cipher pole. We get CP zero walking, walking by, and they're like, "Oh, you, uh, you used to be in, um, you used to be in the uh, White Beard Pirates crew. Uh, on any normal day, we'd probably take you out, but fortunately, we're kind of busy trying to capture Robin or something. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave you. So um, yeah, let's, let's see you later. See you later, Izo. You get to live for today. Uh, bye. But Izo's having none of it. He's like. No, CP0. Don't go yet. And I'm like, whoa, where is this going? Like, is he going to challenge the CP0 to a fight? Or does he just want to talk? Like, Izo, I don't think he's strong. I really doubt. There's no way he's strong enough to take on CP0 himself. I mean, I think even if he was at full strength, he couldn't do it. These guys are just on a... A higher level. I, I, they're clearly not on Kaido's level, of course, because if they were, they could have taken him out years ago, or at least attempted to. But 
they're probably not that far below Kaido, because they are incredibly strong. They took out Drake like it was nothing at all. So the fact that Izo's like, hold up, I'm like, I am definitely concerned over Izo right now. Very, 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 very worried over what could happen with Izo in this predicament here. Okay, so then we move on to Yamato, who's like running through and trying to get to the bombs. And that entity, that fire creature that Kanjiro created, gets to the bomb, she freezes them. Uh, she uses her ice breath, which, I, like I said, I didn't had no idea she had at all. But that's that's interesting. She has that. So she's and then she goes in to like whack the fire creature. Um, but we don't really see the result of that because then we move on to the final half of the chapter, which is of course Kid and Law versus Big Mom, which is what the chapter's named after. But it's only like half the chapter. But still, half the chapter is enough to cover what Oda wanted to cover. I was a little surprised that he managed to pull that off, but he did, so that's great. Um, but yeah, Law and Kid and Law are basically on the ground. It looks like they've been defeated. And Big Bob's like, okay, cool, I kicked your asses. Um, Kaido's taken way, 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 way too long to kill that straw hat boy. They're probably playing patty cake or something up there. Patty cake, patty cake, bakers, bakers. Bake me a cake as fast as you can! Shouldn't we be f be fighting or something? Yeah, I guess we should be. So yeah, the whole patty cake remark from Big Mom is pretty funny. It makes me wonder if that's in the, the uh, fan uh, translation. Oh, that's something I forgot to mention, is that uh, I took longer than usual to get to this, so the official translation came out, so I'm just reading that on uh, viz.com. So, if there's anything that sounds different than usual, that's, be that's because I'm reading the official translation. But yeah, so Big Mom is like, alright, I'm going to go up he up there, and Law just uses his technique. Um, the sword, of course, like he said last time, the sword going through her doesn't actually do any damage, but it does cause some form of damage inside her. Um, and you can see that when he uses Shock Wile or Shock Will, or Shakula, however you pronounce that thing. I really, I really have no idea how to pronounce that. But he uses it, and blood starts spurting out of her mouth. And then all of these beams are like, "Oh, we'll get our vengeance on you, Law." And I don't know why exactly Big Mom thought it would be a good idea when fighting a guy whose main ability is, oh, I don't know, magnetism, to turn metal into her allies. Like, Big Mom, you're an idiot. <laughs> Of course, Kid is going to use that to his advantage. And he, I believe, magnetizes Big Mom again and causes... Oh, wait, no, 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 that's right. He doesn't magnetize her this time. He doesn't use his awakened ability. He makes this giant metal bull that, like, that rushes into her. So that was definitely one of Kid's crowning achievements, was making this me mechanical bull. And it looks really cool. The bull looks cool. The bull looks cool. Let's see, I, I want to read what Big Mom says here. I guess you brats really want to take my head, don't you? <laughs> For some reason, I feel like I'm driven by a different goal now. I'm guessing Kaido's nearly done up there too. But water droplets can carve stone given enough time. There ain't a single thing in this world that's totally impervious to damage. Yep, kid's right. I mean, even a Snorlax. You just keep hitting the Snorlax and eventually the Snorlax will be defeated. So yeah, Kid has a really good point here. And then Kid and Law being like, I'd rather die than let you go to the roof. They're like, they're like giving their all. They're like doing everything that they possibly can. So yeah. Go guys, go! You got this! You got this! Go guys, go! You got this! You got this! Will they be able to beat Big Mom? I think they will. I think that's where the story is being set up, set up to go. I think that Kid and Law defeat Big Mom and Luffy defeats Kaido. Now, it is possible that they beat Big Mom and then she escapes regardless and ends up going to Elbath because a lot of people want her to show up on Elbath because of her history um, with that country. And I definitely agree. I'd love to see her on Elbath. I think that would be a really cool thing to happen. So hopefully she does um, survive and uh, maybe escape or something like that. But I think she's going to lose here. I 
An active imagination indeed. But yeah, that was the chapter, and I think we're ready to wrap it up. Hey, just 33 minutes, not bad. Okay, so then... Uh, so yeah, that was chapter 1038, and I really liked it. Uh, the first half was not that special, but did uh, get us up to date on what all the characters are doing. And there were definitely some standout moments, like the Grim Reaper making his big appearance, and then you have Izo's interaction with the CP0 which raises a whole bunch of questions. So yeah, a really phenomenal chapter. And uh, and uh, yeah, I can't wait. To, oh, I don't think we're on break. I don't think we're on break. Woot! Okay, I am really happy to see that. Not on break, not on break. All right, Matilda. Well, why don't you and Hilda close this off? <laughs> Understood, you gotta put Hilda to sleep. Well, that's the chapter, everyone. We'll see you next week for more One Piece. Also, My Hero Academia was on, was on break this week, so I may not get behind. Whoopee! See ya, everybody!